Okay, I think um, we can start now. Um, all right, so welcome everyone and thank you for joining us in today's presentation. I am Ivana Ray Almora, a Policy and Project Officer here in Urada, and I will be helping guide you through today's event. A few things to note before we begin. Please make sure that your microphones are muted and are in listen-only mode to avoid sound interferences while the presentation is ongoing. Um, please also note that our session is being recorded now um, for reference purposes. Um, and finally, please do not hesitate to ask your questions after the presentation is over. Um, so today's event may be a familiar one for all of us here in Urada, as the Secretariat of the organization has started preparing comprehensive information by researching the activities and profiles of development agencies in Europe and abroad. Um, this activity provides us with data about the governance of development agencies in different EU regions, their impact, activities, and how they are financed. Um, this information serves as a benchmark and is included in URADA's website. For instance, in the website, you will find studies already conducted about um, regional development agencies in Austria, Germany, Portugal, Spain, Moldova, Romania, Serbia, Turkey, and even the Philippines. Um, today, we will be learning more about the development agencies in Italy. To do this, we have our colleague, Andrea Carini. So Andrea joined URADA in March 2020 after finishing his master's degree in European and International Studies at the University of Trento in Italy. In URADA, he collaborates with the preparation of position papers and monitors the EU policy initiatives relevant for the association. Andrea also supports the implementation of Horizon 2020 projects, Express and Entrances. Um, so as regional development practitioners, I'm sure that this topic about Italian RDAs is of great interest for all of us. So without further ado, Andrea, the screen is yours. Thank you, Ivana, and good morning to everybody. So I will first share my screen so you can see the PowerPoint. Uh, are you able to see it in the full screen? Yes. Great. So this event wants to be an opportunity to present the system of regional development agencies in Italy and the framework in which they work and their activities. So I will introduce first the institutional framework of Italy to picture the legislative system in which the RDAs work. I will then present their legal status and activities and the role played by the national agencies in Vitalia, which is in synergy with the mission of the RDAs. Finally, I will show the example of three Italian RDAs, which I selected among the various reported in the study. The one I will present today are Arter in Emilia Romagna, Lazio Nova, and Abruzzo Sviluppo. So, before presenting the Italian regional development agencies, um, it is important to present a, a brief overview of the institutional and legislative framework uh, of the country. Italy is a demo democratic republic with a bicameral parliamentary system. The parliament is composed by the Chamber of the Deputies, uh, the, la Camera dei Deputati, and the Senate, the Senato della Repubblica. Both cameras have uh, legislative powers on equal footing. The government is led by the prime minister and the head of the state is the president of the republic. The country is organized in the central state, the regions, provinces, municipalities and the metropolitan cities, all of which may adopt their own statutes. Focusing just at the regional level, in Italy there are 20 regions, 15 with ordinary status and five with special status taking into account their geographic or cultural uh, specific features. These regions, which enjoy more legislative and financial autonomy, are uh, uh, Friuli Venezia Giulia, Sardinia, Sicily, Aosta Valley, and the Trentino South Tyrol region, which is composed by the two autonomous provinces of Trento and Bolzano. The main difference is that while the ordinary status is adopted and modified by regional law, 
the special statute is adopted by constitutional law. However, every Italian region has a statute that serves as a regional constitution, determining the form of government and the fundamental principles and of the organization and the functioning of the region. In accordance with the constitution, the Italian Republic is a unitary, while recognizing the principles of local autonomy and decentralization. Nevertheless, as of today, Italy is considered as a regionalized country. In this respect, regionalism has been progressively established after the World War II. Uh, regional functions and uh, responsibilities were broadened, especially during the 90s, with the Bassanini laws, which uh, pushed the modernization of subnational institutions and governance. In addition, the regional statutory autonomy was enlarged by the 2001 constitutional reform, which modified the division of legislative competencies between the state and the regions by distinguishing between uh, competence which belong only to the state, concurrent competencies of the state and the regions, and the exclusive competence, competencies of the regions. Since the 2001 constitutional reform, the regions have enjoyed significant legislative and administrative powers, assuring exclusive legislative powers with respect to any matter not expressly reserved to the state. So, for the the example, the state foreign policy, national defense, or the tax system. However, there is a number of matters in which regions have concurrent legislative competencies with the, the state, for which the state should only set fundamental principles. Examples are the healthcare system, transport, social services and housing, agriculture, and education. I'm trying to move the, oh, okay. oh yeah, there it is. So in this context, the growth of regional development agencies in Italy can be traced back to the establishment of local development agencies from the uh, middle uh, 70s to the end of the 80s, mainly in the form of business service centers, which are primarily technical uh, sector structure, helping small, medium enterprises to innovate and to improve the quality of their goods and services. Over the years, these RDA's missions and activities have expanded, reflecting the needs of the respective local territories. Italian RDA's work primarily by connecting them and building in their region a network of relationships between the different local stakeholders, so public authorities, companies, universities, and integrating research, training, and support services. Regarding their legal status, they are for the most part public actors, often we, uh, with the role of in-house organizations of the respective regional government. The Italian RDAs are established by regional law, which define their strategic and operational functions, as well as the available economic resources. Regional law confers to the RDAs a relevant institutional role to guarantee efficient coordination and direction of the local governance system. For this reason, the organization can rely on a high degree of autonomy, usually guaranteed uh, with the constitution of a public limited company. The natural owner of an Italian RDA is the region, which sometimes remains the only shareholder. More often, is the majority shareholder of an assembly of public and or private members. The main example of other potential public shareholders of RDAs are local chamber of commerce and universities. But sometimes the shareholders are also private, for instance, uh, financial institutions, banks, or local industrial associations. So as previously said, over the years, the RDA's missions and activities have expanded, reflecting the needs uh, of the respective local territories. We can summarize three types of models which the regional development agencies have followed. First, the financial model, established in the 70s and more in the 80s to channel resources for development. Their mission and activities are strictly related to the traditional financial intermediaries. So access to funding for startups and, uh, or and companies, providing grants, loans, guarantees, and other financial instruments as well as providing support for startups uh, to develop their business models. Then we have the industrial development model, 
This model was pursued especially by RDAs in regions with important industrial development consortia, so the Italian districts, for instance, in the northeast of Italy or in the areas of the manufacturing sector. In this regard, the RDAs aim to promote and to develop a new or declining industrial areas. And then we have the local development model, a model which relies on area-based integrated strategies, mobilizing a large number of local stakeholders, such as public authorities, companies, research institutes, civil organizations also, developing innovative strategies and using specific methods, such as the partnership method, in order to meet citizens' needs and to strengthen local economies. The main activities of the Italian RDAs reflect the mission for which they were established. At least one of the following macro, macro activities are carried out by the Italian RDAs. First, the development of business initiatives, both individual firm and business community, providing information and guidance on business opportunities, incentives, facilities, assuring credit support, supporting a business startup to, through the provision of mentoring services, for example, the preparation of business plans, and strengthening international cooperation and networking. Another macro activity area is support for territorial planning. For instance, the promotion and implementation of programs and action of territorial and environmental regeneration, aiming to stimulate economic development and attract new productive investments or the technical and operational support to the regional administration and other public organizations, both directly and through its subsidiaries, for the definition of policies and specific interventions to support the regional economy. Then we have the promotion and support for research and education. The RDAs collaborate with the region and the other local authorities in the design and the implementation of intervention policies on the research and innovation such as through projects on social innovation and skill development. And then we have the technical assistance, providing services to the region to speed up the, the spending of the European and national funds. For instance, the implementation of the operational programs co-financed by the European Regional Development Fund. Among the activities provided by the Italian RDAs, we should also include the different initiatives started more recently with the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic in order to support the local territories. Among the others, we can present, for instance, the technical support provided by many Italian RDAs to the respective regions to manage and provide the financial resources, resources to support the local SMEs and companies. A relevant national actor working also together in synergy with Italian RDAs is Invitalia, the National Agencies for Inward Investment and Economic Development owned by the Italian Ministry of Economy and Finance. Invitalia seeks to boost the country's economic growth, focusing on the strategic sectors for development and employment. It is committed to reviving crisis areas and operates mainly in the south of Italy. Invitalia manages also national incentives that encourage the creation of new companies and innovative startups. It finances projects both large and small, targeting entrepreneurs with concrete development plans, especially in innovative and high added value sectors. Also, it provides services to the public administration to speed up uh, the spending of the European National Fund. And finally, Invitali is the purchasing body and contracting authority for the execution of strategic actions at the local level. So looking at some representative examples of Italian RDAs, one is ARTER, which stands for Attractiveness, Research and Territory. ARTER is the joint stock consortium of the Emilia-Romagna region that was born to foster the region's sustainable growth by developing innovation and knowledge, attractiveness and internationalization of the region system. The company, which is also a member of Eurada, has been set up by regional law. The main shareholder of Arter is the Emilia Romagna region, together with other uh, shareholders, such as the university, among the others, the University of Bologna, research bodies operating in the region, for instance, uh, ENEA, the National Agency for the New Technologies, Energy and the Sustainable Economic Development, also the Regional Union of the Chambers of Commerce and other local representatives. 
Regarding the internal structure, ARTER is composed by a board of directors, a technical scientific committee, and a board of statutory auditors. In particular, the technical scientific committee supports corporate bodies, bodies performing advisory functions on aspects concerning scientific and industrial research, development and innovation, technology transfer, and related internationalization activities. So the activities of ARTER are different. Uh, coordination and development of the regional ecosystem for innovation and knowledge, support to startup and boosting business, sustainable territorial development, internationalization and attractiveness of the community and promotion of investments in Emilia Romagna, promotion of the region's uh, productive system and cities through projects on infrastructure, social innovation, skill development and environmental sustainability. Also supporting the shareholders in planning their activities, in particular by designing, management, monitoring and assessment of strategic programs and projects. Participation and development of, of national, European and international networks. Research and studies on the region's social and economic assets. And also designing, construction and management of infrastructure for the region's development. Another example of Italian RDAs is rep represented by Lazio Innova. Lazio Innova is the in-house company of the Lazio region, with a minor role as a shareholder of the Chamber of Commerce of Rome. The company has been created by regional law as the result of the integration of assets and skills available in other regional companies and agencies, focused on innovation, access to credit and economic development. Lazio Innova performs functions of specialized technical assistance to the Lazio region, with specific reference to the implementation of European programs. Lazio Innova is an intermediary body acting under the responsibility of the managing authority, which is the Lazio region, and interacting directly with final beneficiaries in the implementation of the operational program programs co-financed by the European Regional Development Fund. In particular, the company operates for the benefit of local enterprises and public administration by providing different services, such as the incentives based on regional, national or European financial resources, information and guidance on funding opportunities and European projects, credit support, venture capital activities, services for internationalization, promotion of business networks and regional excellence, services for the creation and the development of enterprises, and also microfinance and measures for social inclusion. A last example I want to present today is Abruzzo Sviluppo. Abruzzo Sviluppo is the in-house company of the Abruzzo region set up by regional law with the region as the only shareholder. Abruzzo Sviluppo mission is to promote the entrepreneurial culture to the region, in the region to increase the competitiveness and attractiveness of, the, of Abruzzo, both at national and international level, and to analyze and to coordinate the needs of the different local stakeholders. The RDA achieved this mission by fostering the relations between companies and institutions, as well as with foreign partnerships, supporting territorial development programs, fostering innovation and internationalization of the Abruzzo industrial system, and guaranteeing the operative technical assistance to the regional policies on development and economic promotion. In this regard, Abruzzo Sviluppo provides technical assistance to the Abruzzo region with the management and the financial accounting of the European structural funds, so the European Regional Development Fund, the European Social Fund, and so on. The various areas of action provided by Abruzzo Sviluppo to the regional government and to the local companies and stakeholders can be gathered in the following activities, providing incentives for regional and European resources, management implementation of regional calls, information and guidance on business opportunities, incentives and facilities, credit support for support, also the microcredit, supporting business startup, supporting internationalization and promoting business networks and regional innovation hubs. So the Three examples shown today are just representative of the various RDAs present in Italy. At the end, the important and strategic role played by these entities, entities is to support the local stakeholders, from the local government to the companies, 
with different activities to identify the needs of the, of the territory and implement action to boost the economy and to meet the needs of the citizens. So this is all from my side and thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you for educating us today, Andrea. Um, if anybody has any questions, please feel free to um, turn on your camera, unmute yourself, or just unmute yourself. Uh, uh, yes. This is an Antonio Romero from the region of Murcia with Spain. Uh, yes. Just a very brief question about Lazio Innova. Yeah. Um, I, I, I couldn't see any. Um, uh, any mention to innovation, uh, uh, supporting of innovation. Um, does uh, Lazio Innova support innovation in the region also or or not? Is more uh, business or commercial issues? Uh, actually, yes, it does. Uh, of course, I just gave a general presentation of three examples, but uh, the support of innovation for the company is also part of the of the activities. So actually, Lazio Innova, just the name, uh, it's about innovation. So it for sure also a core uh, activities for them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Yes, I have a question about the future. Can I make the question? Yes, of course. Okay. I want, Andrea, first, thank you very much for the presentation. Very well done. Uh, and a, good, thank you. a good, uh, good vision about how Italian development agencies work. I have a question about your opinion, because you are in Neurada and you see many development agencies. How you see the evolution of, in the near years, of the Italian development agencies? You mentioned, uh, Emilia Romagna, Lazio, Abruzzo, as well, you have contact with the Sviluppo market. How you see the, the future of the development agencies? Do I go in the regions accordingly with the process of decentralization to take over some of the activities that the development agencies are doing now? Or from the other side, the decentralization supports a lot the activities of the development agency, make them the main manager of the smart specialization, make them the the main provider of finance to companies, or make them the, the, the leading actor in the double transition of, uh, of uh, economy low in carbon and, and digitalization. How do you see that? I know that is an opinion, is to, to have the, the, yeah. the, the world crystal. How do you see that? Well, I think that uh, they will surely play, play an important role. And also because, as I previously said during the legislative uh, system in Italy. Uh, Italy in the last years uh, went towards a, a regionalized system. So regions are start to have more powers, legislative powers in different sectors, strategic important sectors. And so as the regions uh, will continue to have uh, uh, more competencies, RDS will be more necessary for for the implementation, I think, especially for the good implementation of uh, the policies, uh, because the, from one side, the, the, RDA, the Italian RDAs can uh, provide, especially a technical also uh, support for the implementation of, uh, I was thinking about the, the credit support, for example, that we have, be, we have seen in, the, in these months uh, for the COVID, uh, as COVID measures, but also to identify, especially the, the local environment to see which are the needs, which are the the potential, the challenges, uh, because uh, the RDS, the Italian RDS, have uh, uh, their territory a really good connection with the different stakeholders. So, so public authorities, uh, small uh, small medium enterprises, universities, so that they can really give a uh, broad overview of which, which are the needs of the of the territory. So for sure they will. Uh, Play. Now they do, and they will play in the future a really important role. Yeah, at the national level, are there any national agencies supporting innovation in companies? And then the companies could either choose to go to the region, to the regional development agency, 
or to the national level. And the same, is there any institutional promotion of aid from the national, Italian national level and then complements the regional level? How that works? Is in order to show how the centralization process is going? Yeah. I, before, during the presentation, I mentioned about Invitalia, which is the national agency for uh, economic development. And uh, they have, like, as a national agency, of course, they have an uh, overall picture of the country, but then they also provide funds, uh, they support programs, uh, support the startups. So at the end, they also work with uh, regional and local uh, actors. So Invitalia can be considered as the a national coordination of activities which are in synergy with the one pursued by the Italian RDA. Hi, this is Andrea. Can I make a question? Sure. Um, I guess that you had the chance to look at uh, the way you're working and functioning of RDAs across Europe. What is your personal point of view in terms of differences? If you have to highlight what are the three key main differences of the Italian RDAs compared to others, if any, what could you tell us? Well, uh, comparing to other uh, RDAs, uh, I would say that I've seen uh, similarities, differences. Well, I've seen uh, RDAs in Italy also uh, uh, let's say specialized in technical assistance for the uh, for the European funds or the structural funds, so for the uh, implementation of them. So this could be a peculiarity, let's say, for some RDAs in Italy, not all of them. Also, I I see also, uh, for example, in Arter, a good connection with the university system. So uh, uh, an important role played by the research side. So I would say these two are the two peculiarities maybe that I've seen more in the Italian RDAs. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, so Andrea, how can um, our audience get a copy of your PowerPoint? Yes, we will uh, uh, soon uh, upload the uh, the report that I prepared in the Eurada website. And I will also share the PowerPoint that uh, I prepared. And uh, in general, if there are other in questions, uh, uh, you can also send me an email and uh, there will be no problem. Yeah, maybe we could have one last question if anybody has any. Can I? Yes, of course. Hello from Croatia. Uh, Hello. Uh, I just have a question. Um, it seems to me, to, according to your presentation, that most of about the research innovation and the business sector. Uh, are they involved in any transnational corporations and do they uh, collaboration? Do they work on projects such as this? And um, is there any way that we can maybe communicate about uh, um, um, getting their uh, uh, get their contacts so we can contact them on some mutual maybe future projects? Thank you. Yeah, but they have uh, micro activities. So I said the research is a part of it, uh, business support, but also the uh, involvement in programs, European programs. It's also a part of the uh, of the activities of the Italian RDAs. So yes, for sure, there are transnational programs which uh, are uh, in which Italian RDAs are involved. So regarding the the way to connect them, I think Eurada can be a good uh, uh, a good way to be in contact also through with the, the, the Italian RDAs, as we also have some of our members are in Italy, are Italian RDAs. So, so I guess Ital I think Eurada can, uh, can be a good way to find uh, a bridge to connect with uh, all of them. 
Yeah, you rather can be your middleman to reaching the Italian agencies in it Italy. Um, maybe did you also include a contact details for the different um, Italian RDAs in your report? In the report, yes, there are for uh, each uh, RDA that I presented, there is the, the contact, the website, uh, the email, the, the phone number. So every, everything is in the, in the report. Yeah, because aside from the three that you mentioned, there are 20 more. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I, in the report, I put like one, the, the main one, let's say, for the each Italian region. So you will find the one uh, reference, uh, like uh, one um, RDA as a reference point for each of the Italian regions. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay, any other questions from our audience? Okay, so I guess um, with that last question, our session has come to a close. Um, so thank you once again, Andrea, for your presentation. Thank and you on behalf of Urada, I'd like to thank everyone for joining us and interacting with us this morning as we talked about this topic. Um, we hope to see you again in one of Urada's future events, and I wish you a nice day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.